Hi everyone, how's it going? I recently published a Java library through uh, Great Dependency Manager and uh, that was a little of a trouble for me. So I thought uh, that would be cool if uh, I would share it with people, how to do that easily in a fewer steps with less headaches and something like that. So here we are. Uh, we want to deploy the Java project or any other JVM project, uh, any other project that runs in JVM on Maven repositories so that it'll be published and any other developer will be able to download that and use that. So yeah, the goal is to publish a Java library. So here are the three steps that we are going to follow to do this. So, first of all, we need to apply for a group ID, a namespace, which is uniquely yours uh, on Sonotype's uh, uh, gyro. So, here we are. Uh, here are the steps. First of all, uh, we need to make an account under uh, Jira table. So, I will uh, put this uh, link down below in the description so check it out and go for signing up uh, if you don't have an account there so here you go you enter your email you enter your full name you pick up a username and a password uh, you write this code below and you sign up okay uh, once you have signed up you need to make a make an issue you need to make an issue, creating an issue, uh, so that a person manually uh, solves your uh, issue. You know, uh, the issue is about making a namespace for you, and a person should that uh, should do that. So it's not automated. So here we are. We need to make an issue. The summary: you yeah, you type in whatever you want. So we normally say create name space for the name of your project or well, you can give descriptions or not that is optional turn it to attachments group id group id is uh, the uh, specific and unique id that you want to obtain so here are some uh, requirements and uh, rules for that uh, i think uh, as you are a Java developer, you already know the rules of a namespace. So you pick up one and go ahead. Project URL, the place where your uh, project is being uh, hosted, uh, usually a GitHub repository, definitely, or somewhere else, doesn't matter. So you just get the uh, link of your Java repository, your GitHub repository, your GitHub project, and put it here, that's all okay. The SCMURL is about the version control system of your project. You just put the, just click on the code, and just copy this, place, okay? Just copy this uh, link, no, it's about Git, which ends up with that Git, as you see. So you put it here and your username is the username of your the username that you have just put here. So there you go, you're fine. You'll create an issue. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I have already done that and the process is done, but I will show you what comes next. So here uh, this is a this is an issue. So it is uh, already resolved, which means that done everything that I wanted to do and I think it's fine the namespace is mine so here is the thing uh, once you open up your issue instead of resolve here uh, it has written uh, open so because the issue is open and there is another person there which uh, uh, this person is responsible for uh, replying to you and solving your issue and here are a bunch of the stuff that you need to do before that first of all first of all uh, you need to have a doming okay the doming can be any doming that you have bought and we know that 
uh, it is uh, unique because no two domains are, can be uh, similar so the uniqueness of domains are uh, already guaranteed so uh, here is your domain your domain can be your uh, the link uh, of your uh, github profile profile but in a vice versa uh, reverse kind of way so but it cannot start the dot com but instead of dot com use dot io and then github and you and then your uh, github user okay so for me let me see let me show you but, uh, for example for me the uh, name is uh, github.com slash your name your username what you would do is to reverse that it'll be com that github that your username so but instead of com you gotta use io because com is not uh, acceptable okay and these are just uh, coming from here and you, do, you don't need to do anything you have done it in the previous uh, step but uh, here is an important thing uh, if your domain is uh, a github domain so uh, you need to prove that uh, your that uh, github profile is already yours so for that issue uh, what you need to do is to get this uh, uh, the id of your ticket this is the ticket that you have published the issue and you need to make a new repository on your github so that the person who is reviewing your issue sees that uh, yeah you have access to this repository to this github profile and this profile is yours and you will create that okay and it'll be there you don't need to put anything inside it it's okay just don't worry about it and once you have uh, done everything and the process is done and your issue is resolved you can delete that repository that is just for uh, assuring that uh, your github uh, but the github that you are specifying in that uh, issue is yours not for anybody else's so here it is uh, if you have done all the things just uh, go ahead and wait for the reviewer to review your request and once you have been uh, the re your request has been uh, resolved you'll be notified uh, by an email and that's it for now it's okay it means that you will get something like this congratulations welcome to central repository and uh, it'll be your name space has been prepared now user blah have been published new problem so that's okay it means that uh, when you get this, it means that your uh, namespace is acquired and it is yours. So once you have your uh, repository, your namespace, you gotta do some Gradle configurations in your own rep uh, your repository in your local machine, okay? Because we are uh, publishing it through Gradle, so we need to have some uh, configurations in our build the Gradle file. Uh, which are pretty dirty and uh, a little hard, a little complicated. But uh, the point is that I will provide you with the uh, sample, uh, which is already built, already configured, and everything is fine. You just copy and paste that and configure it as you want. Just change it to whatever information that you want, and I'll show you how. And just uh, Follow my steps. So don't worry. The link is in down in the description below, and you will have the code that I'm gonna use. You don't have to write anything, okay? Just don't worry. And in the next step, we are gonna configure our build the Gradle file, and everything is gonna be fine. Yeah, let's go. So first of all, we need to uh, make some GPG keys. If you haven't already uh made that on your computer so we gotta uh, do that uh, on windows uh i'm showing it i'm uh, videotaping this on windows so i'll tell you how to do that in windows 
you gotta go uh, to the link that I put in the description below and download that for Windows. The setup process is pretty as straightforward, so don't worry about it. And uh, once you have configured that, uh, basically there is no configuration in that uh, step. Just install GPG from the link that I put in the description below and then follow my steps, okay? So you need to open a terminal and generate a key. The GPG key is which is going to be used to sign your packages so that they are only yours. Nobody else can uh, acquire them because they're only yours and you want to protect them, you know. So, first of all, we're going to open a uh, console, which uh, Windows is going to be your uh, CMD, or if you're using Git Bash on Windows or whatever, if you're on Linux. No difference, just that you should get a type this command, okay? And here I use the uh, tab on uh, IntelliJ. Uh, just say paste that here. Yeah, what was that? That was GPG, that key, dash key, whatever. Yeah, dash dash gen. Uh, gen key, you know, yeah, you gotta put enter, you're gonna press enter, and that'll uh, create a key for you. But I'm not gonna do that, you know, because uh, I have already made a key, which uh, you can then check whether you have a key on your system or not, like GPG dash key, which uh, will give the key of your thing you now. Yeah, yeah, here it comes. Uh, here is the key of your, the key that you have generated already. So, you know that there is a key, okay? We have this info and then we need to use this command to migrate our key to a repository to a folder to a directory that we know and then later we are going to use this path to uh, configure our build the gradle file. So we're going to run this command too. Okay, we're going to run this command as well. Yeah, gpg dash expert export dash secret dash keys your key ID. The key ID is the last eight characters of this. Uh, key that you have generated. So you just say GPG dash key with uh, capital S K and uh, copy the last eight characters of uh, your uh, key. So then put your put it here which is your user key and then here is the path that you want to use. Okay so you put whatever directory that you want. You're free to do whatever you want here and then you put uh, you press enter and everything will be fine okay i'm not going to do that because i've already done that so you got you got a point okay and the next step is to register uh, your uh, key that the key that you have generated to an online server okay because yeah you're going to need that that uh, if you don't do that, uh, in the next steps, uh, you're going to mm, have fails, and it's not good. So, here is how it comes. Uh, the third and last uh, command that we are going to uh, run is gpg dash dash key server, or oh, and here it will be uh, .com. I will put every code of this down below so don't worry Ubuntu Ubuntu uh, I forgot the spelling of Ubuntu whatever something here okay I'll put that in the description below I've forgotten that okay so and then and that is your user key again okay uh, this here is your user ID which is exactly again the last eight characters of this okay you know, you put this and you press enter and you are good to go. So, uh, yeah. 
So for the exact URL, just uh, check the description below. We'll put that there. But uh, right now, yeah, I forgot it. So here is the GPG configuration that we needed before we jump into Gradle part. And the next step, we will dive into Gradle and I will tell you how you can configure that and publish your own stuff. Yeah. Great. Now that we have our GPG key set, we are ready to configure our Gradle file. So first of all, you need to understand what these things are. You have this code and you have copied, copied and pasted that. But uh, here I'm going to define what they are. Uh, we are using Java library and Maven Publish, which is, which is a plugin for Gradle to publish to Maven repositories and signing, which is uh, all about GPG and stuff to sign your packages and stuff. And your group, which is the group ID, the namespace that you have applied for and you have been granted. Remember that, okay? The version of your uh, software, okay? This is something to not touch, repository. The dependencies, uh, my project doesn't have any dependencies. If yours have, just put it here, it's okay. And about Java here, this is very important. You need to specify that you want the source and you want the Java doc, so don't touch it. This is a very critical part, otherwise, you'll not be able to publish. And we open a publishing block and the publication, we open this. We have a group ID, which is exactly the group ID here. Just copy and paste that. The artifact ID is the name of your package, the name of the package that you wanna publish, okay? Uh, which is, uh, it can be whatever, but uh, basically you should follow the namespace conventions, package name conventions, and here is the version and you gotta put this so that the Gradle knows that this is about the uh, components of Java. Then we are gonna have some uh, foam uh, configurations, which is first the name of your project, the name of your uh, package, the description of that, you put it here, whatever you want, doesn't matter. URL is exactly the GitHub repository or GitLab repository, whatever uh, place that it is uh, being hosted remotely, the repository is. And the exception year is the year that uh, your project has started, so put it here. Licenses, they really matter. Licenses really matter. If your project has an MIT license, uh, if it doesn't, just don't include that. If it does, just put MIT license and exactly this. Uh, link on the URL part the developers just to specify who the developers are uh, I'm the only developer of this project. So there's my ID my name and my email That's cool and SCM is about the version control size system of your uh, Project so what you gotta do is to replace yours in the connection is exactly what you get here. Now we get to go to your repository and take the code, the copy, get that, and put it exactly here. Okay, put it exactly here. But uh, what you're gonna do is, yeah, you're gonna delete this HTTP part. Then you're good to go. Okay. And about developer connection, uh, you just. Uh, Get this part, just change this part and don't change this part, okay? You put it here, and what you're gonna do is to delete HTTPS and then you're good to go, okay? And the URL of your project is exactly the same as the GitHub URL that you have specified here. So just copy and paste. And here is just basically the info that will be shown on your last screen page, okay? And the repository is the repository that you are going to push to. No, Maven Central Repository. Just name it here. It doesn't change this. And the URL of the repository is exactly this. Don't change it. This is where you are going to uh, push your code to. And credentials, you know, you need your password and your username to 
published packages. So here are these two things, but uh, there is some definition here, I gotta tell you. Uh, first, uh, you can just put some strings here, you know, specify the strings and put your password here. What is this password? The password is exactly the, the same as the password that you have chose here, you know, exactly this. The username is this, okay? The one that you chose and you used to create a uh, Jira account on Sonotype tables so you can use that but uh, what I did because uh, basically you push build the grade of files to your repository publicly when you don't want your username and password to be public so what do you do instead you have a gradle the properties file in the root uh, exactly besides your build the gradle file okay and inside that just uh, copy and paste this, okay. Just copy and paste this, and uh, I will give this code to you too, okay. Uh, this is just uh, the place that you're never gonna push to your uh, repository, remote repository, and it is gonna be safe. Your password and stuff is not gonna be leaked. People are not gonna blackmail you, blackmail you or something. So. This is how it is. So just do that and specify the name. This just doesn't change it. What's this? Our username. What's this? Uh, HR password, which uh, I have put stars here. Password and not stars. So I think of uh, getting some disadvantages and doing some malicious stuff. So uh, yeah, here was my password. Here is the was my password too. The password of my GPG that I created once. I was uh, creating a GPG uh, key or value on my system. Here is the place that you used here. Uh, you remember this step? Exactly, guys. I told you the path that you specified there. Yeah, just put it here. Exactly the same path. And this is your key ID uh, by the previous section. You remember this is the last uh, eight characters of your key, yeah, uh, you remember, still here. The eight last ones, just copy and paste it here. Your password here, and that thing here. Your sonotype Jira. Ah, uh, Jira. Okay, Jira username here. Your sonotype password here, and that's cool. And by that we get this, and people will not know that. Okay. This is about the credential part, and just two last steps, and we are good to go. And about the signing, just do this and don't change it at all. Java Duck, pretty important part, and uh, don't change. It. So it's okay, nothing for you to do. Just copy and paste this code, and enjoy life. I had really much so much trouble coming up with this code and doing all these complications took me hours. So. I don't want your time to be wasted as well, so that's the whole point of this video. So feel free to copy the uh, code and enjoy. So now that we have done this, we are pretty much ready to do some other nice stuff. So what we are going to do in the next step is to actually publish our stuff to uh, the repositories. So. Just and easy as this. Gradle publish. You're gonna open a command line, command line tool, your CMD, git bash, whatever. And you're gonna uh, type in this part. I'm gonna push enter, and everything will be fine. So we have uh, can, configured our files correctly, so everything will be fine. And once you have done this, once you have published successfully, uh, if you have some troubles, just uh, put the comment section below and I will definitely check and answer you. I will definitely help you. So, here that is. Once you have done that, we are gonna go somewhere like here, which I will put the uh, login. Put the login, put the login, put the login, yeah, password, whatever. Yeah, you are gonna go somewhere like here. Okay, 
Uh, I will uh, put a link down in the description below. Oh no. Down, down in the description below and you are just gonna follow this link and come here. And your repository is here. Now I don't have no any staging repository. If I have one, it'll be okay. Uh, one that'll appear appear here. So you will have one here. And just click on that and just click on close. You see, yeah. Just click on close. And once the closing part have finished successfully, which will finish successfully because we have done all the configurations uh, really perfectly. Uh, but if it doesn't, just uh, ask me in the comment section and I will definitely help you. And just put the, just click the uh, close section. And once you have done that, uh, the release part, the release button will be uh, active for you so you can push that. So just press that uh, uh, release button and you are good to go. Okay. Everything is done. Everything will be fine. And what you're gonna do afterwards is just to wait. You know? uh, here are the next steps that you can check where the repository is. Yeah, in this link that I will also put in this in the description below, what you are gonna do is that you're gonna look for your own package. Here are the all the packages that are in the repositories. All the packages are here. So if uh, yours has been published, which normally takes up to 30 minutes, okay. Uh, you're gonna go here and check for that and find it. And the next step, which is pretty more beautiful, you don't wanna show this kind of stuff to people, right? You definitely have downloaded and injected some repositories and dependencies in your own projects. And you don't come here to download jar files now. Uh, what you are gonna do instead of downloading jar files is to come here, which I will put uh, in the description below, and search for your stuff. And once your publication was successful, uh, everything will be uh, here. And this means that the package is free to install and is already published. Okay. But this step takes uh, something like up to four hours you can be lucky it'll be less than four hours maybe more than four hours but four hours in average takes to appear in the search section you know uh, i know if you want to there's like a j here is where you can search for every repository that is every package that is in the maven central yeah as you see maven central repository search and yeah that's it man, that's it. And hope you have uh, enjoyed this. Hope you can publish your Java libraries and uh, you'll be happy about that. So I had a lot of trouble doing all this and figuring this steps out. It took me hours and a lot of readings. So I just wanted to sum up uh, all of them in a short video so that it can help you out so just ask me if any trouble happens or any question you have about this process just ask me i will definitely and i'll reply as soon as possible so don't worry i'm beside you uh, by the way uh, when your uh, library is published just uh, put the link down in the description below and i will definitely check that out and I will be happy that I have helped you to publish that repository. So have a nice day and have a uh, nice new year actually. This is the last video that I'm going to publish in 2021. So see you on the 2022.